Feeling these spells, I don't know what it is. I got something gets them walking. Hypnotized. Hey what's up guys, it's your boy Ants Canada here once again bringing you another random but helpful tutorial. Now a lot of you have emailed us, sent us messages, commented on videos asking for this tutorial and finally here it is. Uh, this tutorial is uh, basically going to go over probably one of the best ways to move an ant colony into your new nest from a test tube. We do have a tutorial on how to move a colony from a nest to another nest, but uh, this tutorial will cover how to introduce a new colony that you've essentially cultured in a test tube to a brand new formicarium. Uh, so, hope you enjoy this video. This is for you guys, and um, check it out. Hello, everybody. This tutorial will cover how to transport your colonies and queen from a test tube into a brand new formicarium. Now this formicarium here is a large black habitat nest which can be found at our store at the Ants Canada Ant Store, antscanada.com and uh, this special nest has museum glass which has low uh, reflection index. You can see it's pretty pretty clear there. Um, and this nest will be a home to a growing chromatogaster colony. I'm going to go over how to efficiently move your colony from a test tube into a brand new nest. Now, ideally, you want the colony to at least be um, a few members, you know, a few workers, because you don't want the queen to have to do all the work. Um, it's usually helpful to have workers to split the labor. Now, what you'll need of course is a nest <laughs> and you'll need your queen and colony in a test tube and you'll need a special tool like this. This is actually two-thirds of a product that we sell at the Ants Canada Ant Store called a Ants Canada test tube portal. Now if you don't have a test tube portal you may have to use tape um, or simply use cotton and wedge the cotton in between the empty spaces but um, with our test tube portals it's actually very very convenient and made a lot easier. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this test tube portal to the nest. Now this opening here I already have it connected to a tube with a cotton block at the end. Um, it's actually more helpful if you have this connected to an outworld already so that any ants that um, are left over or escaped or escape can be thrown into the outworld to join their family after. Um, and now, uh, so, I'm going to now attach this test tube portal to the back of this nest. Now if you don't have a test tube portal, just cut a short, about one and a half inch tube um, to attach from the test tube to the nest. So here we go. Put it down here. There we go. There. Sweet. Okay. So now that we have that, the ants are now connected to the test tube portal. Um, and ready to be placed into the nest. Now the colony is alarmed. What I want to do next here is to cover this nest. So it's nice and dark. I'm going to do that right now and cover the nest. There we go. So the nest is nice and covered. Now what you're going to need next is some heat. So what I like to use is a heating cable. If you don't have a heating cable, you can always use something like this, which is a heating mat. Um, and it's only the lower watt version, see, heating mat. Um, but I like to use the heating cable because it's easier to apply to the test tube. Now, the idea is to basically heat the test tube little by little and the ants don't like it. They end up moving. So 
with this heating cable I'm just going to touch this and wrap it around a few times here now this will make the test tube very uncomfortable for the ants okay so what I have here is I've got the heating cable attached to the test tube simply by wrapping it around the test tube and the ants immediately begin reacting to the heat and looking for a place to transport the young now if you leave this set up to run the ants will eventually begin transporting the young um, and even the queen to uh, much cooler areas and ideally you want them to discover this safe haven you have for them now it also helps to water the setup so I'm gonna do that now water this setup closest to that entrance there this of course is our state-of-the-art habitat nests with highly absorbent walls there you go that should be good and the ants will eventually find this moist area and say look I found a moist area and a cooler area and a darker area now you see how they've moved the brood um, away from where the heating cable is now as they do that all you have to do is simply move the heating cable higher and higher all it takes is one ant to discover the new home and they eventually all mobilize really it would be best to be patient and let the ants move in on their own but you guys have asked for a method in which you can move the ants if they aren't you know induced by light or dryness uh, to make the move so heat is one way but you should always keep a good eye on the queen and the rest of the colony to make sure they're not burning now you see here if you look at the habitat nest we have a few scouts checking out the new property which is a very good sign See, more and more ants are checking out the new habitat nest and uh, eventually these ants will make their way back to the colony who currently is looking for a new location to set up and uh, they'll move in so let's continue to keep this covered here the queen has already begun to proceed into the tube okay guys so it's been 24 hours and presently the ants have um, adapted the tube as their home for now um, which is fine because uh, you know sometimes ant colonies aren't as uh, open to changing locations right away but eventually this colony will begin to make their way into the nest so there you go a successful move hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks guys and there you have it uh, so uh, best of luck to all of you guys uh, with your growing colonies um, congratulations again to all of you out there who have caught queens this year 
um, during the nuptial flight. If you haven't, be sure to keep your eye open still if you live in North America um, because they're still flying. Um, you know, up until September, you should be able to find queens. This method described here using heat to move your colonies um, should be done with care um, and under close supervision because you don't want your ants to cook. So you just gotta basically um, be there throughout the whole process. Make sure ants aren't acting funny, ants aren't flipping on their backs and, you know, weird things like that because you don't want to kill them. Um, and of course, too much heat can essentially injure and possibly kill the brood, which you don't want. Uh, so, um, hope this is helpful to all of you guys, and uh, thanks again for all the support. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe um, and join the Ants Canada YouTube family. Thanks again, guys. Take care.